Most people won't take responsibility for their own happiness because they don't have the guts to do it. Mm. Because that takes self-ownership, takes self-awareness. It actually takes letting it hurt to heal. Good evening, Australia. Welcome to the show. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I get a lot of inspiration from the guests on the couch over the years, you know, because we all go through difficult times. I've had rock bottom many times. I've had uh, relationship challenges and all sorts of crazy things. I was on the police force for 10 years before I became a criminal defence lawyer and uh, came across death, cot death, car accidents uh, with little children dying, you know. Not good for the mind, but I started meditating about 20 years ago, and I think if I wasn't meditating I'd be on heroin and um, an alcoholic um, but we've had some amazing guests on the couch Jody Joni B my apologies darling <laughs> is on the that couch was my fault. superstar model and <laughs> how are you Joni isn't it amazing how the universe works Togsy's yeah. there on his computer and all of a sudden we're all having breakfast together now um, about that intro just yeah. a little bit taken aback there, Michael. Which one? <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Let's talk about. Yeah. Let's talk about you. But tough times, you know. When people people look at you, pretty girl, smart, but everyone goes through difficult times. But um, the important thing, I suppose, is to get on top of crisis, isn't it? Or not to let crisis get on top of you. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, and I think. That is the key to the human existence, really. Mm. Not to take shit personally or life personally. You know? Because people speak very highly of you. you. You help a lot of people with their issues. And, and I think it's partly because you've gone through your own challenges in life, like we all do. Because really, life comes with 10,000 joys and 10,000 sorrows, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's the duality of it, really. Mm. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I only ever speak on my personal experience. And. I think if you don't, then you're really just full of shit. Yeah. But I only pay forward, like I always think we learn by teaching. So anything right. that I can share about myself <clears throat> that can help someone else, then. That is so cool because, you know, there's so many people wearing these social masks. It's nice to mm. meet. It's nice when you meet somebody who's authentic, isn't it? Authentic and real. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Well, what does that even mean anymore? Like, mm. I think that's really what everyone's craving at the moment. And while yeah. there's. The word that I keep using at the moment is the world is really inflamed and it is because nobody really understands within themselves what authenticity even means. No. Like everyone wants to be real or wants to be seen, but it's like so blurred because really being yourself isn't really the norm anymore. We're being taught that you have to be doing better or doing mm. something or developing yourself or being your higher self or being something other than yourself. So to come back to being authentic, what does that even mean anymore? I think we're slowly getting it, Joni, because in you know in the eighties, everybody Ferris Bueller's day off, you know, yeah. everyone had the Porsche and the diamonds and the and 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 you know to show off. But I think we're getting it. Uh, we're 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 creating a very broken society, a lot of depression, anxiety, you know, mm. and it's getting worse. Suicide rates are increasing. Mm. I went to New York a few years ago, and uh, the, the psychologist said forty million people uh, were diagnosed with se severe depression, anxiety. Mm. People have got less friends. They've got a lot of Facebook friends, but mm. you know we're not. We haven't got that one-on-one -on -one contact. Mm. So we really have to get rid of all that bullshit of um, of pretense and reach out to people and show a bit more kindness. Don't you think? Or the, I, th I think the problem there is that there is no real space being held for people to feel safe to be able to actually say that they're not okay. Mm. You know, and to speak to suicide and depression for a minute. Um, a big wake-up moment for me this year was a family member actually took his own life mm. and you know mortality and the idea that living in the now and actually being okay to say that you're not okay is really really important people so many people are staying in a state of depression like and this diagnosis around depression like I don't really subscribe to it because people it's so quickly the amount of times this year specifically that I've been told I'm depressed or I have fibromyalgia or I'm you know there's something wrong with me when in fact I just actually had too many freaking tabs open mm. and too many expectations on myself but didn't feel because I was in the life coaching space or because I was a motivational speaker whatever label you want to use that I really knew how to 
actually sit with myself and own that I was unhappy and I needed to go through grief. So there's so there's people don't know actually how to say that they're not okay. No, that's right. And there's been so many books about positive thinking and be happy all the time. And Anthony Robbins speaks about it. But it's difficult to be positive um, every single day, isn't it? When well, we yeah. going to go through. Our- Look, I went through that journey. I've done you know um, UPW and I've done Date with Destiny, and I I, I love Tony's work. And I think there is a, definitely a place for positive psychology but we're given emotions for a reason and unless you really allow the polarity of an emotion to play out it's going to keep showing up and if someone needs to be sad we should allow space for someone to be Mm. fucking sad excuse me i'm allowed to swear (laughs) well that's so true because um we're in a very we want fast fixes don't we We, we, we're single all of a sudden when there's we we want to find somebody on the internet and reconnect but when, when you have a loved one die or you go through a separation or a divorce i mean you know, a lot of people say, oh, get back out there, start dating. But you've got to go through that grieving yeah. time. Yeah. And then I suppose there's got to become a time that get up and go. We can't stay in the pit for too long, can we? And I think this is the, the construct that gets people so confused. You know, the get up and movement idea is, you know, a lot of the time people mistake movement for achievement. They mistake going and filling the void of needing to feel unhappy with doing positive things, but they still, it's just suppression. But coming back to actually just being sad it doesn't have to be an amount of time you don't have to have a pity party and unpack there mm. you don't have to be depressed it's just most people become depressed by label because they don't actually know how to go through the emotion because they don't feel safe to do so so they actually live in a su- suppressed state of it mm. and Joan, you know that a lot of people think oh they've got to be at every party be seen everywhere take a bit of mm. coke here get pissed there mm. and and um and, you know, after weeks and months of that, they think, well, I'm not, I'm not really getting any joy out of this. Tell us about the importance of reflection and uh, meditation and really getting to know oneself. Yeah, look, I, I've i never taken drugs in my life. I, I've probably smoked some weed. That's about it. I green out too easily, so I don't do that. Um, <laughs> but I've never really understood that culture. Um, I... Look, subscribe to meditation, but I get distracted too easily. So I'm I'm more about mindfulness, checking in with yourself, and actually just self awareness. Like mm. most people lack self awareness because their their values prostituting essentially, looking for means of validation externally from themselves. So they will do things like take drugs or in a means to connect because the peers peers do it or whatever it may be. So if more people were self responsible self-aware they could actually make choices that that's good advice we might talk about that after the next break people being more self-responsible we'll be back very shortly Thank you very much for tuning in wherever you are around in Australasia or maybe even watching from overseas on the internet. Um, if you're going through some difficult issues, remember tomorrow's another day. You know, that uh, there will be sunshine after the rain and uh, I always think about impermanence. So, you know, all the good things never last and all the bad things can't last either. And um, I've recently gone through my own difficult times and uh, that's why we decided to invite the great Joni B on the couch to assist us all. I think she's going to be the new Oprah of Australasia. <laughs> You've done so much work on yourself, so much self-development for such a young, beautiful lady. Thank you. Not many people do that, do courses. Some people, Most people um, after they leave school uh, don't even read a book. What's a book? <laughs> <laughs> but, but what made you where was where did the discipline come from to, for all this um self-development to become an excellent and first class person thank you <laughs> um i would probably answer that by saying most of what i share has come from school of life mm. um yeah i have the pieces of paper the credentials uh i've predominantly to better myself so that I could learn through. I failed forward mostly in life. Mm -hmm. Um, It's been through trials and tribulations that I've been able to have my own awakenings. And don't get me wrong, they don't happen instantaneously. I like to stuff it up a few more times before I understand it. Is it fun? Because we get, we learn so much. And I think 
if you don't, I mean, anyone who works with a coach or works with someone to to get through their blockages or whatever it may be that they want to do to better themselves, the first question I'd be asking is, where have you failed? Where have you stuffed up? Mm. What mistakes have you made? Like, how have, how have you learnt through life? Because a piece of paper is one thing, but... You're so right. We haven't stuffed up. Janie B, can you... Um, I'm a criminal defence lawyer and sometimes I cross-examine people, okay? Mm. You're in the witness box now. You've, you've given the oath. Yeah. You know, remember, the penalties of perjury, eight years jail. Yeah. <laughs> can I ask you a couple of questions? Um, your tough times, can you share maybe two or three tough times in your life that make you a bigger person? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, there's, a, I won't say a myriad because I've had a pretty amazing life. Mm. Um, this year has been exceptionally challenging. Um, What's happened this year? Uh, just experiencing um, a family member okay. get to a point where they feel as though they have to take it's, their own that's life. That's difficult. But what, what about you? You keep on um, yeah, so, no. doing the third person. What about you, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm not dancing you're, around You're it. hard, darling. Um, so you, my your biggest... heart got broken, did it? No. No? My heart. Yeah? Did no. you go through a relationship? Oh, there's a few there. Yeah. <laughs> Jodie, we want to hear some tough times. I want some gory stuff. We can't be stuff. too happy. Yeah, my, this my is not probably, the happy show. Uh, well, the tough time, it wasn't really a tough time. It was more of a fun time. It had t- tough moments. Jodie, <laughs> maybe tough for him leaving a beautiful yeah, my, woman like my you. My biggest um, wake-up moment was probably in 2009 when I had um, a car accident. I was training for oh, that's right. Yeah, training for a sports model competition. Um, clinging for a need for significance and need for connection, community, all, all the, you know, right. the core stuff. And um, I was actually really glycogen deprived in lead up to the competition and I ended up having a car accident because I tuned out. Mm. Um, yeah, and that left me a little bit challenged afterwards, yeah. mentally, emotionally, mm. financially. Um, and I was a teacher at the time. I was teaching the beauty therapy diploma and um, actually working a little bit in uh, TV presenting, and I found it challenging to plug into that after the accident. Oh, um, and then ended up. I'm, when my back is up against the wall, I'm not really someone to just unpack. There, I, I will take care of my shit, so to speak. Okay. Um, and at the time, I used the the need for money as a as an as a good option to become a stripper. So. Walking into a strip club. Joan, you didn't me, tell me that. For me. <laughs> you what? <laughs> You're such a good lawyer. Um, I'm shocked. Yeah. So for me, it was an opportunity to recreate myself completely. Fantastic. And, and you know what? You're, you're talking about the um, University of Life. That would give you um, number one uh, supreme confidence, number one, after a while. Mm. But number two, you'd learn so much about human behavior. That, because yeah. a lot of the guys come in there just to – because they need love. Everyone needs love. Is that why you went? I didn't go there. You said I go to kittens. You said I was good enough to come to your top of clubs. Yeah. I've never been to one of those places in the world. Only joking. I think we um, all have. We all have a bit of fun. You and know? look, I always say it's it's a part of an ecosystem. It has its place, like everything else. But at the same time, it's also a metaphor for life. I always yeah. say life is a yeah. strip club in a way. It is. You know, everyone's hustling. Everyone's Everyone. looking for some kind of significance. Everyone has their different approach to doing everything yeah. but for me personally when I was in my tough time yeah. it was a place where I went into that place as a very insecure passive aggressive unsure of herself broken person and by no means can I just disclaim that I'm not suggesting that every girl who's a little bit lost and disconnected should become a stripper that is not what no. I'm saying what I'm saying for me personally with where I was at I was able to recreate myself and the person that I created in there was able to assert herself, was able to be confident, was able to overcome objection, was able to come, overcome rejection. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, and I found a community I was able to you know, connect and it, it's no like no different to high school or anything no. like that, obviously just make money. But certainly it for me it was um, a form of rehabilitation mm-hmm. and this is really what I work with people, especially women now, with I talk about confidence is something that's activated. It's not something that's found. We all have a you know, this internal place within us that we can activate and pull resources basically for anything we need to do. Mm. And I always think like now, if there's something I feel as though I can't do, like speak in front of hundreds of people or whatever it may be, I just remember that I've stood naked on stage. 
Yeah, I was just thinking about that's that's exactly right. You know, yeah. you you stretch your confidence, like I said, supreme confidence, yeah. and and confidence drops sometimes, doesn't it? Look, and yes, to some level, it was you know in the coaching world we always talk about resourceful and unresourceful yeah. behaviours, and okay, yeah, to some level it was unresourceful, but it's where I was at in my journey to use a coaching. Does it help term. to be um, beautiful? Um, actually, it's got nothing to do with the game. Yes, it helps, but it helps in life generally. I found, yeah. but it's also a disability. Like it's, as well? it's disabling as well as it is empowering. Like anything. Amazing. And we might get some advice from you about some some young people going or anyone going through difficult times and maybe yeah, of course. Um, they can't get out of it. We'll be back very shortly with uh, Joni B. Thank you very much for the pleasure of your company. You know, you know what I find in the mornings uh, when, when we are going through difficult issues, just just show gratitude for all the good stuff in your life, you know, and I just think that the more we show gratitude, more, the more you feel good and the more that sort of stuff comes back because I see a lot of clients who go through difficult issues, divorce, bankruptcy, depression, and you tend to attract more of the same of what you're vibrating. So um, you just smile a bit more and, um, you know, show loving kindness to others and, and just forget self sometimes. I think we tend to think about ourselves far too much. Forget self and scatter sunshine. Joni B's on the couch, a very, very successful young lady, done a lot of work on herself, uh, very good heart and, and very authentic. And I reckon she'll be the new Oprah or someone of that caliber in Australia because you've got so much to give, Joni. You know, you've got so much to give. There's not many real authentic people who speak so well. And I think you've got to take this to, uh, to a step further because we haven't got any good motivational speakers in this country. Yeah, well, I would agree from the female perspective and I'd, I'd like to think I can bring a real element to what's being shared out there. Mm. Um, especially like to go back to what you were saying, like starting your morning, most people start it through comparison. Most people will wake up and they'll yeah. scroll through, you know, the snapshots of people's positive parts of their mm. lives and start getting into this toxic mindset or perspective about why they're not good enough. Mm. And I just think to start your day with good vibrations, mm. it's very important. Good vibrations. Yep. Um, the first thing to not do is check social media like i, I really mm. feel that is the hard most, though, isn't it? well this you is you want to check up on the x well this is the challenge <laughs> <laughs> that's a side note we can talk about <laughs> <laughs> what's he doing um but yeah i really i really feel that's the poison that's running through yeah. socially at the moment is this need to people to feel as though they're good enough or keeping up with or doing enough mm. before they're even awake they say we've got to love ourselves but you know a lot of people find that difficult, that concept, you know? Self-love? Mm. Yeah, and, you know, I you know, I am hashtag self-love queen, but from a place of self-responsibility. And yes. I think a lot of people, you know, I'm often making sure people don't think that self-love is taking bubble baths and lighting candles and having mm. a night in. Well, that, that's nice. Yeah, that's lovely, but it doesn't change your world. What changes your world is the relationship you have with yourself. I think you, you talk about extreme self-care where we self -care, yeah. tend to, which we don't do when we're going through difficult times because I knew when I was going through my difficult times and the relationship things yeah. and that, um, that's when you your your health takes a backseat for a while, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because you'll, you'll do anything that you need to do to support why you're shit mm. or why you feel mm. like crap. But So self-care is a ripple effect of having a good relationship with yourself. But, you know, where I come from, and this took me ages, I'll never forget when I broke up with, you know, the seventh boyfriend, whatever, and he was just another dickhead. I'll never forget my mum saying to me very delicately because, you know, I never like being told what to do. But she said, Joni, was, it, was he another dickhead or do you think maybe there's just one dickhead in this equation? And it took a while to land, and then I was like, wait a minute, I'm responsible for this? And it made sense, and it was in that moment that I was like, it was quite profound because everything is a mirror. Everything we get is what we believe we deserve. The relationship mm. with, your, with yourself is the most paramount. Everything is a result, and everything's there to teach us to reflect back what it is or isn't what we want. 
you, you, that, that, that's so important for, for people to remember that we are co-creators, isn't it? We're creating our life. Yeah. Uh, you know, that we're creating our relationships, our jobs, where yeah. we live, all that sort of thing. So, um, And getting accountable for that and just mm. taking responsibility. Most people won't take responsibility for their own happiness because they don't have the guts to do it mm. because that takes self-ownership, takes self-awareness. It actually takes letting it hurt to heal like doing the self-work of reflecting and and going through the process of mm. owning your life rather than just waking up and going, okay, well, this is it and rolling it out and getting what you think life is just giving you. So what's your advice to the, the millions of people out there who've hit rock bottom and, you know, they don't just get, get, they don't get from the day, they hardly get through the day. In fact, they don't, a lot of them just want to take their lives and have an early mm. departure. What's your, what's your advice to those sort of people who just want to maybe suicide tonight? Yeah, look, I feel really, really strongly to that question. And, you know, only a few months ago, I was not suicidal thoughts I didn't get to that depth but I really went down the rabbit hole of my own existence to really flesh out that answer and what got me out was realizing that none of it actually matters everything's noisy it's always going to be noisy but coming back to what the love you have around you like my family my friends um yeah, just nothing really matters. Just shutting down all the noise and keeping it really freaking simple. Mm, you're so right. Simplicity is important, isn't it? Well, and, and most people aren't simple because they're trying to please expectations of others. Mm. So that's why nobody knows who they are or what they're mm. supposed to be doing or being. And mm. this is a thing I, you, you can only do from a place of being first everything else is a ripple effect but most people are just in momentum trying to please expectations and it just mm. becomes too heavy michael and most people are checking out because nobody's checking in no that's very true i think oprah in this book says um she became whole when she she called us uh, she delete the disease to please delete oh, the totally. disease to please yeah and it's it's mm. exhausting mm. and you know i used to have an attitude around i do what i want but it was more an attitude because it's where i wanted to be mm. within myself but it's it's not true i used to lie to my parents and only give them parts of my life because you know i wanted to try and control how they loved me and mm. the more self aware you can become the more you understand through failing forward through making mistakes through life life is teaching you it's always responding it's Amazing. there for you but most people will blame it rather than own it because it takes bravery to own it and something a lot of people don't talk about i mean um, is um uh, are the laws of the universe energy and vibration which is mm. so important but people just um you know the small world will say oh i couldn't believe what happened mm. you know yeah, we're shocked by it when we actually do manifest yeah. manifest our existence. But also, energetically, it's sometimes too woo woo. It's sometimes a convenient thing to say, like, "Oh, the universe has my back," or you know, karma. Mm. It's almost like a throwaway line. But when people actually do come back to understanding that, yeah, you are calling in what you put out. Joni B, it's been such an amazing experience. We'll have you on again. In fact, next season we're going to co-host a show together. Um, in, in, very Fabulous. soon but thank you so much for coming on and uh, thank you very much for um, viewing love and best wishes and uh, we'll see you next week good night